And we're about to end this once and for all. Hi, what's good? What's good? It's me, your boy Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here to talk about part three of Surviving um, Jaguar Right, hosted by the incomparable Unwind with Hasha Kang. So let's get into it. You know, I um I I did write maybe three or four notes for this part, but I don't think that I'm going to reference them at all. I think I'm just gonna talk about my feelings about the series overall and what I think about it and um you know just everything in regards to this um watching this part um it basically talked about um Sam and his mom and how Sam's mom did ne never wanted Sam to marry Jaguar um how his son lived in Dallas with Jaguar and how things wasn't the way it's supposed to have been for a child um, and that's the reason why he was able to take his child away from Jaguar. It was like a lot of stuff going on. This third part it was just crazy. Especially when they showed that video of Jaguar going over to Miss Tina's house. And how Miss Tina was calling the police. And how she snatched her phone and was getting all crazy with her and all of this other stuff. And I just thought it was real crazy. Like Jaguar may be the one that's schizophrenic. She could she because she's just acting like she crazy like straight up acting like she crazy. Um, I'm going to say this because um, like I said, this is basically me reviewing this whole saga um, in a nutshell for me. This is basically what this is. Um, I want to say um, shout out to Tasha K because she definitely did a great job with this. No matter how twisted people may think this whole thing is, because she went and talked to her family. She did a great job with this. She wasn't on her Wendy Williams esque type shit. She was really on some Gale type shit when she interviewed these people. Like she did a marvelous job. This is really her calling for real. Like I could really see her doing something like this on TV. Like real shit. I could see her doing this. And I'm just really just amped up about how she handled herself with this whole interview. Like she did a marvelous job with this. So I just want to give you know, Tasha, kudos for that. Now, is it kind of messed up that she went to her family, like her, her son, her ex-husband, her cousins, um, her niece, all of these people in her life? It is kind of messed up. But like I keep saying, Jaguar put herself out there when she decided to come online after Malik B died. And then she decided to expose everybody's business or make up all these conspiracy theories about the things that she may have heard or the things that she believes and all of this other stuff. Then she went as far as to talk about her family and brought them into it and started talking about her ex-husband and her child and all of this other stuff. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I'm sorry. But if she can go out and expose everybody else's truth, What's wrong with people doing the same to her? She spoke on these people and they have every right to go to whatever platform they wanted to to speak theirs. It is what it is. People talking about they're not loyal to Jaguar, but Jaguar spoke on them on a, on public platforms. Like, I don't understand. My thing with people um, who are blindly following behind Jaguar and the things that she does, I find them to be very crazy because y'all really going in for this woman and y'all don't see the error of her ways. Like, she's really um, a messed up person with the shit that she does. She really is. And I don't see how no one sees that. I think it's really messed up. I think it's really fucked up that people don't see it. Like, all people want to do is just get the tea. They don't want to see how things go and the way she explains things is pretty it's pretty easy to believe whatever she says but like I said I, I I don't think that everything that she says is true I do think there is some truth to what she says but I do think that she over exaggerates a lot of the things that she says that's my personal opinion 
If you don't like it, that's fine. Because I know a lot of Jaguar Wright fans who ain't never bought not one damn album from her have come for my neck in the, over the past few months whenever I've talked about her ass. And I really don't give a damn. Y'all already know that. It is what it is. But that's just how I feel. So we cannot be mad at her family for getting on Tasha K's platform and discussing their truth. Because she did speak on them first. It's, it's, it's only fair that they tell their truth. Bottom line, and if you don't like it, this, that, on that. Um, as far as the husband is concerned, um, or the ex-husband, I do think that he's telling the truth. Um, if he's a liar, then he's good at lying because he was very convincing. I really think that he's telling the truth. As far as the son is concerned, I don't know much about autism, but, um, I don't, I don't know, like, there are, like I said on one of my last videos on this, I do think that there are high-functioning autism, autistic kids, but then there's some that are not as high-functioned. Um, but I don't know if he's autistic or not. I do think that he's very intelligent. I do think he's very smart, and I do see him as like a nerd, but I don't get autistic. But like I said, I don't know much about autism, so I really can't speak on that. The only issue that I got with the girl, um, Jamie... Um, is that she's trying to say that her father didn't rape Jaguar when she really wasn't there to know what happened. I do think that it's a natural thing to defend your father against such an allegation. I can say that. But I'm going to give Jaguar the benefit of the doubt when it comes down to the rape allegation. I'm not going to sit up here and say that she didn't get raped. I think that's very insensitive. But I don't know. I don't know if she got raped or not. But I don't think that for those that wasn't old enough to know what happened should come out their mouth and say that it didn't happen. But at the same time, Jack, the question arises that if he raped you, why did you have your kids around him if he raped you? That's a valid question. Like If he really did something to you, why did you have your kids around him? But I don't want to sit up here and say, well, if he did that to you, how come you ain't call the police? Like, I hate when people do that. Most rape victims don't call the police. You know what I mean? So, eh, eh, I ain't going there. What do I think about her and her husband now? Like, they are always in the car. They're always in some hotel. It looks like they're always on the run. I don't know what the fuck they got going on, but it's crazy. Um, when it comes down to Jaguar still in allegedly taking her, um, grand her, her grandmother's no, her mother's $6,000 check um, every month. Isn't there a way that the family can stop that? Is there any way the family can stop that? Because if she's re like, cause if she's taking it and doing what she wants to do with it, then I don't know. Like, is, Isn't there a way for you to overturn it? That's another thing that got me questioning this whole thing. Like, is, Isn't there a way to overturn it? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I do believe most of what the cousins said. I do believe it. I do believe just about every word. I definitely believe the mother-in-law, too. I definitely believe her. I do. Um, like I said, there are some things that are questionable, but there are some things that um, are very believable in regards to the stories that were told about Jaguar Wright. And like I said, um, if you don't want to be sprayed, then don't spray anybody else with their business. Don't spray anybody else with conspiracy theories. Don't spray anybody else with things that you know about them. Because, again, I don't give a damn if I'm on bad terms with anybody. I'm never going to spray them with the things that I know about them. And I always have to use this particular person as an example because... Most of y'all that's been following me for years know that me and him had a friendship. As far as Justin J. King of Reese is concerned, there's things that I know about him that I would never ever spray him about in the public. Because at one point in time, me and that man were friends. At one point in time, I called that man my brother. So regardless of the fact that I may not fuck with him in 2021, between 2013 and 2016... That was my big brother in my in my mind. In my heart, that was my big brother. So therefore, regardless of where we are today, I would never spray him in the public with anything that he may have told me in confidence. I would never ever do that. Period. I might not like him now. I may not fuck with him now. But I still have that sense of loyalty to where I would never do that. And that's just that on that. Um... All I can say is we need to keep Jaguar in prayer. 
because I know that she's been making responses to Tasha K and everything like this. So I ain't no telling what she got going on in her brain. So I'm going to pray for her. And I'm not even joking. We all need to keep her in prayer. Keep her family in prayer and, and everything. Because, as you know, as much as we like to look at this shit for our own entertainment, it's still a family that's messed up. And that's all I can say about that, really. So with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. I still want to send a special shout out to Tasha K. She did a great job with this. I really, really appreciate what she did um, in regards to this. Like, she, you know, them interview skills. I was just, I was taking notes. I was taking notes with them interview skills because, you know, me and Jamar are, you know, we interview people. So, the way Tasha K was running the interview, I'm like, okay, bitch, let me, let me take some from you. Let me, let me see what you got. Okay, so she did a great job. Um, and just... Shout out to everybody that's watching. I also want to send a special shout out to Monica from All About the Tea. I was told that um, I got a shout out from her. Um, I do watch her panels from time to time. So I'm very amazed that someone with a platform big as hers actually noticed me. So shout out to All About the Tea and, and everybody else on her panel. Shout out to all of you guys. I really appreciate the... Um, the shout out I do. If you want to follow me on um, any type of social media, it would be at the bottom um, of the video. And um, I'm out of here, y'all. Make sure you like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. With that being said, you guys, I'm out.